So let's apply what we just learned to help complete our interpreter to fill out what it means to evaluate statements. Previously, we had an evaluate expression function. Now I'm going to make a new function for evaluating statements. It's going to take the abstract syntax tree and also the environment. We need to know the values of variables. As always, by convention, we can get the type of the thing we're looking for from the zeroth part of the tuple. We did all this work in the parser to record it. Let's totally take advantage of that. Well, one possibility is that it's an assignment statement. Those look something like this. Here's our statement type, assignment, and its first argument, or the first part of its tuple, is going to be some variable name that we're assigning to. And then the second part is going to be an arbitrary expression abstract syntax tree. So that corresponds to x becomes 3. So I'll just get out the variable name and get out the right child abstract syntax tree. I'll figure out what the new value is by calling evaluate expression because this right-hand side part could be more complicated. For example, it could be a bin op of a bunch of things. So we're going to need to walk down that tree and interpret it, translate it to figure out what it means. Now we've got the new value. And we'll just promise ourselves later on we're going to write some new function called environment update that changes the environment so that variable name now points to new value. This should remind you a lot of the chart update procedure that we wrote before. However, there are other types of statements. In addition to assignments, there are if then else. There are typically three parts of an if then else. The conditional expression. Suppose our if then else is if x is less than 5, then a else b. I haven't drawn in the curly braces to save space, but this is the general idea. Then our conditional expression is x is less than 5. That's the guard that tells us which way to go. The then statements are a, the else statements are b. But before we go farther, there is one complicating factor. Remember that in JavaScript, you can have multiple statements inside this compound statement block. So really, we have then statement s and else statement s. Your mission is to complete this code, and you can assume that there's a procedure called eval underscore statement s that takes statements as an argument and an environment.